Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide. And we are on February 3rd, 2023. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet. And welcome to The Daily Do, giving you your world update, as well as space weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here looking at our sun, 304 angstroms, where we can see all of those plasma filaments, especially around the northern hemisphere right now, dancing around and as well a couple minor C-class solar flares to talk about. Having a look at cresting imagery incoming for an Earth-facing. Southern Hemisphere plasma filament, and as well one erecting from the northwestern limb. And see that shot come from the right-hand side. That is our only sunspot region. Considering we've seen 144 sunspots for the month of January. That's the highest recorded sunspot for a monthly period in almost 10 years. Having a closer look here at that activity, northwestern limb of our sun, large plasma filament erecting there. Watch it as it stands probably 15 Earths tall and then left-hand side bright region. A couple shots coming from that. Looking at multi-spectrum right now, northern hemisphere plasma filaments are a little bit concerning, and as well, the cresting sunspot region in the southwest. Our sun did produce a pretty large CME, which is a coronal hole or coronal mass ejection, but it was in an outgoing fashion. 193 angstroms here, and we can see darkened regions which black, which would appear black, which are the coronal holes, but not much is developing right now. Amazing images on an amazing planet. So grateful to be sharing this information with you. Solar X-ray flux remains in a low B range right now after seeing two C-class solar flares in the past 24 hours. Geomagnetic activity slightly elevated now with a KP of 3. Real-time solar wind sitting at 340 kilometers per second. Highest recorded speed today was 375. Looking here at our ISWA space prediction spiral, showing this most latest CME kind of in an earth-facing direction. Looks like it's going to give us a glancing blow around the 7th into the 8th of February. Another look here at Alaska 3, showing all of the sun's energy taking off from the star and as well the last few images of that comet circling around our sun. Sunspot number progression. This is what I wanted to show you today. Monthly values for February, 140, or sorry, for January, 143 sunspots. And they were predicting 63, so already well above the 63. And we, as I said, we haven't recorded that many sunspots since February of 2014 in almost a decade. Quick glance here at our solar sunspot progression as we are in solar cycle 25, our 19th time around the center of the Milky Way. And this is what our sun looks like during quiet time. Not many sunspots right now. Schumann resonance for today is a power of 7. Low power after jumping up to 62 from two days ago. Quick glance here at the telemetry. Quality of 9.9, .9, amplitude of 3. And here's a glance at earthquakes for the past 24 hours. Across the world, we're sitting at about 240 earthquakes, according to USGS, but increasing activity through Alaska around the Katmai volcano is a little bit concerning. The Aleutian Islands seeing lots of earthquakes today. Nikolskoy, Alaska. 4.0s ranging up to 4.2 and as well a 4.1 here McCarthy Alaska 
lots of minor activity spread throughout there. Across the United States, not too much to talk about. Increasing activity through the California state and as well southeast of Los Angeles. Quick glance at the minor activity. One minor earthquake there, Lake Tahoe. And then up into the Pacific Northwest, we've got a couple minor earthquakes atop Mount St. Helens and as well Mount Rainier. An increasing activity this week. We've seen a lot of minor earthquakes and explosions being recorded across the Pacific Northwest. Quick glance here at earthquakes across Alaska. And this is where the Katmai volcano is. Small swarm occurring here right along the mountain line of the Aleutian Islands. So heads up, stay tuned to daily events worldwide, keeping you aware and prepared to extreme weather, volcanoes, and space weather, and of course, earthquakes. Carrying on here, 3.5, that is the largest across the United States, Hemley, team, uh, Texas, as well Nicaragua seeing a 4.2 and a 4.5, things eerily quiet through the Caribbean right now. South American plate, two earthquakes to report, Equic, Chile, 4.4 and a 4.9, Erica. So heads up, South American plate into central, 4.8 earthquake there, Drake Passage, haven't seen one there in a while. 4.3 earthquake, Greece, 4.2 central Turkey, and as well, largest today, 5.1 King High, China, 10 kilometer depth, top the Tibetan Plateau, Tobilo, Indonesia, and as well, Vanuatu. This is where that new volcano has awakened. Luganville, Vanuatu, 106 kilometer depth. And then our deepest earthquake the past 24 hours, 635 kilometer depth, 4.8, south of the Fiji Islands. Also notable here, 4.5, the North Pole, north of Svalbard. That's the last 24 hours for earthquakes across the planet. A quick browse at the last seven days for shakers. I want to take a moment to give everybody a heads up and just be ready for any kind of disaster. That's what this is all about, keeping humanity aware and prepared, making sure that you are ready for any kind of disaster that may affect you. For instance, extreme weather, or if you're in an earthquake-prone zone, Speaking of which, heads up, Central America, and as well up into the Cascades, Juan de Fuca, ready to go. Let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent satellite imagery, and as well noting out the most recent volcanoes getting updated today. Looking at Reventador in Ecuador. as well Sangue in Ecuador. Nevada's Ruiz in Colombia. Sabincaya in Peru. Cotopaxi in Ecuador. Fuego, Guatemala. Santa Maria, Guatemala. Popocatito in Mexico, many explosive eruptions there. Swiss and Ajima, Japan. So that's about eight volcanoes getting updated today, including Era in Japan, so nine. Amongst the 46 that are active and erupting across the planet, according to the Vulcan Smithsonian numbers. Quick look here at satellite imagery. Big stormy conditions moving into Iceland and Greenland. Across the Pacific, pretty big low hang into Kamchatka and as well the west coast of the United States. Strong low pushing through Europe. Getting ready to pound Turkey with a bunch of snow. high-pressure ridge building in over Spain. But 
watch things to change here in the long range. Let's have a quick look at our temperature transition for the next little bit. Extreme cold temperatures will be moving up towards Quebec and parts of Labrador, but going to linger across the prairies. West Coast, big Pacific, equatorial warm air push, and a lot of moisture will be coming with that. Stormy conditions moving into Newfoundland tonight, and as well, snowstorm conditions through the prairies, and very wet along the West Coast as that low heads in to the Vancouver region. Colorado low here developing later in the week, and as well a strong system in the Atlantic that may graze the Atlantic provinces in the long range. Low pressure center moving in here, Alberta Clipper next Thursday. And at the same time, a big Gulf low here develops through the southeastern states and up into Ontario. Watch for a lot of snow on the backside here from that big system next weekend. And then in the long range, big stormy conditions heading towards the Atlantic provinces yet again. Overlooking South America, no major changes this week. Daily evaporation rains, strong low moving towards the coastal regions of Buenos Aires. Other than that, not too much to talk about. And then we get to Africa as parts of a few provinces here in South Africa will be experiencing some flood alerts as torrential rain moves into southern parts. Lingering low in between Madagascar and the South African continent. Overlooking Europe, Western Russia, big low moving here into the Eastern Mediterranean. This is what I was talking about, big snowstorm for Turkey. And as well, stormy conditions for the Black Sea. And then a long range here, another system developing 10th into the 11th over the Mediterranean that will be affecting Italy for a few days as it lingers through. Overlooking Southeast Asia and the West Pacific, daily evaporation rains through Indonesia, Malaysia, strong system moving through Japan. Long range forecast could see a typhoon here developing for the Philippines right there. That's into the 14th of February. And then overlooking Australia and New Zealand, Stormy conditions affecting southern New Zealand that will scoot away by Monday. And then long-range forecast here, northeastern parts of Australia. Big cyclone here developing for Brisbane. Going to bring a stormy coastal waters. And then watch for that to get quickly ushered to the southeast of the Antarctic. Leave you here with a quick look over the Pacific all of our low pressure systems spinning across the northern hemisphere. Big low heading towards California in the long range. Much love everybody. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world.